up, nerds? I'm Cup of Joey, and today I'm going to be taking the Maya Briggs personality test. So, if you watch my I Am Very Smart videos, you'll know that a lot of the people that try and seem very smart will often put their Maya Briggs personality trope in their description or whatever. I used to do this when I was a teenager. I was marked as INTJ. I thought that that made me super cool and edgy, and I used to pop it on everywhere. So now that I actually think that it's quite crap, I'm going to take the test again and see what comes up and see if I've changed because it's been like well over 10 years since I last took it. So first of all, I'm going to be taking the 16 personalities uh, Maya Briggs test. I have been told by one of my followers, Miranda on Twitter, thank you very much Miranda, that even within the community this is considered to be a load of bollocks. So I'm going to be taking an absolute bollocks test before given, uh, being given what they consider to be more legit. So let's just have a look anyway, because I'm mostly doing this for the fun of it. Let's see, you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Um, I'm, I, I am quite sociable, but when it's lots of people, I get, I get a bit anxious. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'll probably go more towards disagree for that. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. <laughs> Transitioning! I mean, what? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, to be fair, I do live in fantasy worlds a lot, so let's go with that. Um, your travel plans are more likely to look rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. Um, that's really vague, because on the one hand, like, whenever I'm traveling, I'm always really big on, like, getting there on time, and, like, I'm always really early, but, um, I want to have it, like, as a detailed thing. Oh, I'll go for, like, more disagree on that one. You often think about what you should have said in the conversation long after it's taken place, yes. <laughs> if your friend is sad about something, your first instinct, instinct is support them emotionally, not try and solve their problem. Yeah. Uh, people can rarely upset you. No, I hate people. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm freaking trans, of course, people upset me. Okay. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. Nah, I'm a chatty bastard. Um... If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold to make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. Wait. Oh. If you had to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. Um. It depends on what the plan is. I'm going to go with a slight disagree on that one. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. Eh. I know. I'm, I'm a unique taste. <laughs> It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without being feeling bored. Yeah, yeah, like, I I, I love people. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's like, it's like I said, I don't like the huge groups, but, you know, like, without my loved ones, I definitely struggle. You're more of a detail-orientated and big-picture person. Yes, that definitely gets in the way of... I do. You're very affectionate with people you care about. Uh... I don't know, I mean, I'm very cuddly with my partner, but she's probably the only one. I do hug my family. Uh, I'm going to put more disagree, because I'm not very affectionate, I'm just quite affectionate, okay. Oh my god, we're only 20% through. Oh, okay. You have a very careful and methodical approach to life? Mostly no. Um, you're still bothered by the mistakes? <laughs> yes! Oh my god, this is what keeps me up at night, like, oh, the cringy stuff I used to do, my goodness, okay. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a wallflower. Um, you often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. No, I, I understand that a lot. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalogue. Oh, yes. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. No. <laughs> Actually, no, uh, um, yeah, I... I... Uh, I'm going to put neutral for that because it depends on what the pressure is. I have broken down before though because I'm only human. When in a group of people who do that, they have no problem jumping. Oh, freak no. No, I hate that. I don't like talking to people I don't know. Leave me alone. When you see your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Yes. Oh my God, I have such a weird, weird crap going on. Right. In your opinion, is it sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life? Oh, it depends on who. Like, I would definitely step on, you know... <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to think of somebody because it's not like I could exactly step over Boris Johnson considering the fact that he's some freaking public school eaten twat. <laughs> and I'm and I'm just a fat working class loser. Um, I'm going to just put that because... Uh, no, I'm going to put slight disagree actually because, you know, it's very... I can tell that what the circumstances... Go away with all of this. Right, um... 
You were dedicated and focused on your goals. You read. Oh, no, no, I'm. No. Oh, I try, but damn. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. Yes, oh my goodness. Like, I'm a freaking polyglot, and all it takes is for me to make one grammatical error, and then I'm like, well, I guess I don't speak this language anymore. <laughs> Even though I got a degree in the bastard, right? Whether it's a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people, mostly talk to the ones you already know. I agree. Next. <laughs> You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. Eh. Depends. You never let yourself cry in front of others. Oh man, I mean, I, I try not to, but it it's freaking happened. I'm a sensitive baby. You feel more drawn to places with bustling and busy atmosphere? No. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future? No, because it's all going for warming and I'm scared. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Uh, no, I tend to listen to my head. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to study something you cannot see, touch, or experience. What? No. Uh, no. People study what they want. Like, what the hell? Okay. You prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't judge me. Okay. Uh, you often make decisions on a whim. Uh, I think the fact that I'm like thinking about it means no. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying. No. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning of a message or a song or a movie. Yeah, I do actually. It depends on what it is, but you know, I enjoy it. You always know exactly what you want. Mate, mate, I don't even know whether I want curry or chips for dinner, so no. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done. No, I think about that all the time. It stresses me the frick out, right? Oh, we're 60% through, so that's something, right? When in a public place, you usually stick to quieter and less crowded areas. It depends on where I am, because if it's like, if it's something where there's a queue and it's for something good, then I'll join the queue. Uh, uh, I'm going to go for like a slight agree on that one. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. I'm going to say yeah, just because like, I talk about the crap I go through right now. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. No, I like to think I'm quite empathetic. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. Yes. Yes, I definitely do, because then I can just crack on with it as opposed to like, oh, now I can't continue because it's this. You know, that like really freaking annoys me, right? When you know someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it'll be until they become disappointed in you. Oh no, all of my subs, I'm like, when are you going to leave me? <laughs> oh, you feel comfortable walking up to someone you find interested in? No, 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 I could like be in a queue to meet like a famous person in a con and just be like pooing my pants the whole time. Sometimes just for comfort. You often drift away into changing, but yes, oh my god, all the freaking time. Look after yourself first, and that's coming second. No, I, like, love my family too much. Uh, even when you apply to a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. No, I like to stick to routine. Your mood could change very quickly. I'm gonna go, yeah, because it, you know... <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's like, hey, remember this traumatic experience? And then it's like, oh, great. <laughs> you often contemplate the reasons for mu uh, the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I try not to, it makes me depressed. You often talk about your own feelings in the way, yes! Oh my gosh, but I, I do think that a lot of that is just because of being trans. It's kind of part of, like, it's a very personal, like, emotion orientated thing. So, yeah. You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several years into the future. Uh, uh, I just hope that I do well in the job I'm in. <laughs> you rarely turn on your... <laughs> okay. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. Um, yeah. You often see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. How, what kind of a weird question is that? I'm neither. I'm just Joey. Uh, average. You find it easy to empathise with a person who's gone through something you never have. Probably. Uh, your personal work style is closer to spontaneous person. No. No, I'm very organised when it comes to work. Your emotions control you more than you control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After a long, exhausting week of fun, part oh god, no! If it's exhausting, I need to sleep. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement can change everyday life. I do actually. You know, I, I hope that it's going to be cool. Right. 
Do always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Uh, yeah, I, I like to think I mostly do. You still honor the commitments you made, even if you have a change of heart. No, because if, you know, if I made a commitment and then I changed my mind, I'm going to be honest about that. You really feel like... <laughs> oh, it's got a gender thing. I'm not going to give it gender. Oh, I am the mediator. I am a Oh, look, I've even got this lovely little elf that's supposed to represent me, right? So, I'm more in... I'm <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm 69% introverted. 59% intuitive. Uh, 69% feeling as opposed to thinking. And in tactics, I'm more prospecting than judging. And, oh, right, so there's a new indicator. Identity, whether you're assertive or turbulent. I'm turbulent, that's great. Let's start reading. Let's see what it says. Copy of your results. No, thanks. The mediator. On the outside, mediators seem very quiet or even shy. Bollocks! 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 Oh. Oh, sorry about that. Terrible. And they often have vibrant passion in their, in their lives. Because they make up such a small portion of the population, people with this personality type may sometimes feel misunderstood or out of step with the world. Fortunately, their caring nature can often help them create and sustain deep relationships with their loved ones. Like, this is one of those things where... Oh, J.R. Tolkien. Oh, it's just a quote from him. Yeah, see, I knew it was freaking, freaking elves. This is, you know, clearly a hobbit, but whatever. <laughs> oh, gosh. And the, the thing is, is that with this, is that I feel like it's something that a lot of people would say, um, describes themselves, you know, um, you know, saying, oh, I don't say how I feel, but I have a lot of love for my loved ones. Like, that's, that's so, that you know, that's, that's just what most people are, right? Like, this is nothing, you know, um, <laughs> this is, this is nothing unique to me or whatever, but yeah, fine. I think that most people care about other people. <laughs> Media is the most likely personality type to be vegetarians or vegans. Ooh. Okay, um, so apparently this is the one that was a load of crap. Oh my gosh, there's more strengths and weaknesses. Let's see. Oh, you may argue with shoe-wearing hobbits. That's one of my strengths. So, yeah, just creative, passionate, loyal to values. Overly idealistic, self-critical, impractical, emotionally driven, conflict first. Difficult to get to know. Oh, I can see how my romantic relationships go. Let's see, it says, people with my personality trait shag well brilliant okay <laughs> oh gosh why is it all just lord of the ring stuff yeah okay so um even this friendship da, 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 da. God, this is just like a load of like you're a very caring cool person like okay i get it um so yeah as i said i used to be intj according to the thing what's the difference yeah i'd like to know uh the difference isn't too much or too little um, assertive media to say they feel comfortable with themselves. Oh, okay, so it's because I hate myself. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so apparently this was the test that was a load of crap anyway, so um, I'm now going to take the one that was actually recommended by uh, Miranda, who is actually part of the community. So I mentioned that the last one was considered bollocks even within the community. This was the one that I was linked to by Miranda. So a big thank you to them for linking me to this. Um, so sorry about the fact that it's a bit garish in the way that it looks. But oof, okay. So let's take this one. Right. One. Really follow your gut instincts and exciting physical impulses as they come up. Uh little me it's not really i <laughs> like this not me little me somewhat me mostly me exactly me okay um two of a various unrelated ideas see what potential they might suggest uh no determine success by measurement or other objective methods such as time taken uh, i say yeah yeah I, I i tend to determine my success by like my freaking um Oh, I spent a year in China. Like, that's what I'm, like, really proud of is the fact that I lived in China for a year and wrote a thesis in Chinese. Like, that's my huge thing. So, probably that. Um, feeling kind to be responsible or take care of... <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. I put way too much pressure on myself. For, like, but the thing is, is that, like, you can objectively say, like, oh, I put too much pressure on myself when it comes to my friend's feelings. But as soon as a friend is upset, you're like, ah, let me help you. <laughs> so, you know. Um... Experience a premonition or foresee the distant future. I'm I'm not Raven Simone. So n n no, 
Uh, actually, once I, I actually dreamt that my cat died the night that he died, so let's go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, notice whether the details in front of you match what you're accustomed to. Yeah, I'm big detail orientated. Um, be guided by definition, logical deduction, not the tactic of reasoning. I'm going to go with no because I feel like emotions can, like, you know, definitions and meanings are definitely, you know, personal. It's different, so yeah. Feel strongly that something is good or bad? Yup. Not even gonna lie, I, I get very strong ideas about that. Compassionately take on someone else's... else. Ugh, I can't speak English anymore. Compassionately take on someone else's needs as your own. Oh, I hate writing, I hate agreeing these. Like, yes, I'm, I'm a very compassionate, kind person, because you know, you know, like, writing these things about myself. I want to say that I'm a bastard, and just be honest, but... Uh, I mean, it depends on who. I'm going to say mostly because I, I do care about people's feelings as much as a virtue signaling frick that's going to make me look like quite... Constructed an argument to convince someone using evidence. Can... No, I don't bother um trying to convince people because in my um experience... uh Oh, God, this is actually going to say a little... Because, like, in my experience, the people that I'm generally coming across with are people that are, say, like, very vehemently anti-transgender. And, um, you know, when somebody comes across with, like, I agree with everything that you, I disagree with everything that you are, sorry, it's very hard to go, oh, well, according to this evidence, I'm clear, you know, like, it doesn't matter if you have, um, you know, there's this one study by the European Centre of Endocrinology where they say that trans brains are more like and more aligned with that of their gender identity than their biological, um, or rather, you know, assigned at birth sex. And yet, like, they don't want to hear it. So I don't know whether it's, like, to convince people or just to go, hey, look at these arguments, they're crap, so this is my proof that their arguments are crap. Please, please don't listen to terms. Um... Achieve a metamorphosis, definite insight, a powerful vision of change. I'm going to go with yes, just because I'm freaking trans. <laughs> like, uh, compare an experience against a storehouse of familiar experiences to find what's reliable. Mm. I'm going to go with yeah. I, I really do think that comparing experiences is the best way to figure out what's going on. Remain in touch with what you want for yourself, what motivates you, what is good. Ooh, um, uh, I'm going to go somewhat. Apply leverage to a situation to solve a problem impersonally and using minimal effort. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I tend to be very personal when I get when I try and help stuff. So no. Enjoy the thrill of action and physical experience at the present moment. Nope. How <laughs> when I know sure. Enjoy playing with random interconnections and patterns. Yeah, I do actually. I'm gonna go with somewhat. Uh recognize and usually adhere to share values, feelings, and social norms to get along. <laughs> no, no, I mean, if you hadn't noticed that I'm freaking trans, you know, because I said it, you know, ten times already in this video. <laughs> you would know that I don't really adhere to social norms, right? Conceive of a comprehensive plan to maximise progress towards multiple goals at once. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a lot of projects going on, right? Freely enjoy what you want of your own personal happiness. Boom. That's the whole reason I started to make these videos, actually. I mean, obviously, I was hoping that people would watch them and enjoy them, but it's mostly because I just, like, freaking enjoy making them. So, hey, I'm glad you enjoy this. But it's, yeah, it's mostly for selfish reasons, I guess. Concisely reference multiple frameworks at once while problem solving. Oh, well. It depends on what the problem is. Um, I, I, I'd say only a little bit. Normally, I just need one, depending on what it is. But sometimes I'll get, oh, I, I'll go somewhere Gain a profound realisation from a mystical state or sudden release of emotions. I'm going to go with yes, just because, you know, <laughs> again, like, there's so much that I've realised just from, like, how much it made me feel like the whole, um, I realised I was trans because of gender euphoria, so there you go. <laughs> oh, wow, trans keeps being brought up. I'm so sorry, I wish it wasn't an integral part of my everyday life, right? Follow steps to ensure tasks are predictable and completed accurately. I'm going to go with yeah. <laughs> Um, engage life's magical moments and meaningful coincidences. You know what? Yeah, I do actually like life's little, little happy things, so why not? Quickly mean to take advantage of immediate options for action. Nope. Uh, always remain true to what you want for yourself or others. I'm gonna go with mostly yes, but, you know, I, I honestly, if what I want for someone else is what they want, I'm not gonna be a dick about it. Um, analyze and critique what doesn't fit a well-defined principle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, review a lot of information over time to confirm with what a customer is standard. I might say mostly, yeah. Uh, attracted to the symbolic archetype. Yes, I love that crap. Instantly revisible cues to see how far you can go. No. 
Like, if somebody's freaking uncomfortable, don't push them, please. Keep following tangents and new ideas without limiting yourself to one. <sighs> Somewhat, I'm going to say. Uh, follow a straight line of reasoning. Nah. Um, help make people feel uncomfortable by engaging in hosting and caretaking. I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to think that I am a caretaker. I do, I do care about people a lot. I'm always going like, DMs are open if you want to vent. So I, I, I hope so. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, lay out methods for others to complete tasks in time and resource efficient ways. I, I do, I do at work and I do with my partner when it's like, oh, let's, let's use this day to sort this out. And then it's like, if things don't go wrong, it's definitely not my freaking fault. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with exactly, actually. Readily communicate personally to all members of a group to feel unity. Yes. Find you the definition or concept to support theory, perspective or framework. Um, I'm gonna go with yeah. No, actually, no, because the thing is, is that definitions. Actually, no, I disagree. I'm gonna go with no because um, definitions can't be fine-tuned a lot of the time. Like with this whole um, who experiences misogyny kind of thing. Like anybody can. It isn't just a women exclusive thing. So yeah. Um, evaluate what is worth believing in and most important to who you really are inside. Exactly me weave into the current dynamics of a situation aspects of other random contexts Ooh, um i think so actually yeah a spur action and pull off results simply by making your presence felt um no i don't think i'm much of a presence <laughs> transform yourself by focusing in on the specific way you so you for say you will need to be i'm gonna go in mostly because with a lot of transition it's like yeah but then like there's some stuff i haven't done yet um, fulfill the same regular work or activity every day at a comfortable pace. Yup. Actually, oh, it's like, uh, you know what? I like to do the whole a little bit every day, so I'm going to go with yeah. Uh, imagine feel intimate over oneness with other people. Mostly yeah, but not always. Stick to making decisions based on impersonal measures such as point. No, I, I do tend to be personal. That's one of my, one of my foibles, I guess. Oh, we're nearly at the end. Okay. Continually examine if choices harmonize with important beliefs. Yep. Take apart something to figure out the principles on which it works. By the way, my tummy just rumbled because I haven't eaten yet today and it's nearly 11 o'clock. I'm really sorry. But, uh, take apart something to figure out the principles on which it works. Nope. Push your mental limits to complete an array of innovative achievements. <laughs> Oh gosh, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not remotely uh, achieve achievement based. I don't know. I, I've not achieved much. Right. Point out discrepancy between how things are the way they have always been. Yep. Trust what emerges from brainstorming. Uh, no. Easily get in sync physically with people and things around you. No. Okay. Your comments. Poo. Poo. Pee. Pee. Oh, three P's. Three E's for P as far as... Oh, thanks. Thanks for the binary. Okay, we're male. Age, I'm 28. Uh, I don't... I, I don't know. I'm just going to put unknown. Uh, I don't know where to code. Results. We'll see. Freeze, push your browser's back button and enter the demographic. Uh, oh, for frick's sake. Uh... Please enter your full name. I'm just going to put in Joey. Uh, yeah, why don't I just put in Cup of Joey? Cup of Joey. Submit. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so much. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm going to have to read it. Uh, okay. Right, this is what this is. Du -du 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 Judging. It just says what each one is. Okay. The 48 questions you rated earlier tap into the eight cognitive processes. Some questions tapped into. Duh, 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 duh. The profile below is based on your responses. The number of squares indicates strength of response. The equivalent. You may. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, according to this, I am introverted. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, the, oh, here it's ISFJ. Okay. So, um, whatever that means. Uh, introverted sensing. Oh, for God's sake. 
Where we, uh, interfere says to stabilize it with, with predictable standard, carefully comparing a situation to the customary ways you've come to rely on, checking past experiences, stabilizing a situation to events. I mean, I don't know whether it's just me, but again, this just kind of seems like a normal way of, like, problem solving, you know? Like, it's like, oh, you, you see what you know before, and then you, you know, base information on that. Let's see what it says based on the ISFJ. I might as well. I'm here. Why not? Service temporarily unavailable. Well, that, I feel, brings this beautiful, beautiful thing to a halt. Um, so, I, I can't even remember what I got for the old one now. But there you know. Now you know what my personality is and what my whole life is now based around my feeling, uh, in introverted feeling, sensing uh, stuff. So, yeah. Well, that's it for this episode of Absolutely Nothing, because this isn't like a, an episode of a series. This is just something that I decided to randomly do based on the fact that I've been talking crap about Maya Briggs quite a lot. So if, you, if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing or like to see me explore different websites, then please let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see me explore a particular website, let me know. Like, I really want to know what everybody wants to see from this channel. And as I say at the end of every episode, if you enjoyed hearing from- Wait, you did not hear from a subreddit, so I can't even ask you. But if you want to hear from a subreddit, then let me know. Or if you want to see me explore other freaking quizzes, let me know as well. I want to know what you think. And until then, I'll see you all next time.